All right, what's up guys, ODI Productions, and I'm coming at you today with a video showing proof of a million dollars in affiliate marketing earnings, strictly just exclusively affiliate commissions, not from courses, not from selling any of my programs, not from any of my own products. Now, let me just address the elephant in the room. There's two reasons I'm making this video. Right now, there's a lot going on online with just talks about fake gurus. And I've seen people asking, is ODI Productions legit? Is ODI Productions a scam? Is he a fraud? When they have zero facts, they have zero evidence and zero proof and zero numbers to back that up. And don't get me wrong, guys, there are real scams on YouTube. There's literally people who bought a course, turned around within a month and then sold their own course. I've never done anything like that. And I've been real since day one, since I ever made my first YouTube video. So the second reason I'm making this video is honestly to inspire those who do rock with me, who do believe in affiliate marketing, which is a legit business model. I mean, Amazon, Apple, and Google would not have affiliate programs or referral programs if it wasn't a legit business model this is a business that changed my life any business where that allows someone without a college degree like me to go on to earn over a million dollars is honestly gonna be life-changing and that's why I have this message that I want to share with the world and I'm gonna show you guys a million dollars in affiliate commission again not from selling courses not from any of my own products or services and it's going to be from affiliate dashboards we're looking at one right now here's the first one you can see in a few few years over seven hundred thousand dollars just from this one product this one company off the bat you know we're starting off pretty hot I mean that's already a big chunk I'm moving the dates and everything and you can see that you know the number is going down because you know I'm changing the dates and all that but basically seven hundred thousand from this first product boom all right check it out we are here in another affiliate dashboard those who know this product and know affiliate marketing you know this affiliate dashboard right here you can see two hundred thirty eight thousand seven hundred $948.99. Let me do the math real quick. We are at $946,095.99. We are almost at seven figures from two affiliate products. And you know, you guys know I have more than just three or four affiliate products and I'm only showing three or four today because that's all I need. So we need about 50K more to hit that seven figure mark. Let me show you another one. Now, you guys are gonna see this is teachable, but just to you know prove it, this is an affiliate dashboard. This is not my teachable account. You got commission details, you got earnings, you got an affiliate code, but basically you can see my earnings. The revenue is 86,000, but my earnings is 34,607. Uh, so let's add that to our grand total and we are almost home. $980,703.19. So we need about less than 20,000 to get there to the 1 million mark. Here's the fourth product. And this is the last one I'm going to show you guys. So I'm just going to show you guys a few weeks. These are weekly commissions. And you can see right here, you know, a few hundred up to 875, 750 per week. But then as we keep going on, you can see they start to go up over $3,000 per week. And this page alone, I actually did the math before this. I think this was just over 19,000, which is exactly what we need to get to that 1 million mark. A million dollars in affiliate commissions. You guys have seen it here. You guys have heard it here first. Hey, so I know I just showed you the proof of the 1 million and it's a milestone that I'm so proud to have achieved with this business model of affiliate marketing. But the reason I made this video is to show what's possible. A lot can change in just one calendar year. And so what I'm going to show you guys real quick is basically going to go through the years and go through, you know, where I started because that 1 million all started from this payment right here. So this is my first affiliate commission, $32.06 from Amazon Associates. This is taken from the dashboard. You can see the date is November 2014. But I want to take you back to six years ago. And there's me. I was a college student at UCLA, my dream school. Now, I didn't come from money. I went to school on financial aid. I had a little scholarship and that helped me to pay for school and to have an opportunity at higher education, which I'm extremely grateful for. And I still love UCLA to this day. In fact, I'm wearing a UCLA hat as we speak. So being a broke college student, this is literally a picture I took of my room, had three roommates at the time. My bed is on the right. What started this all for me was this book right here. And it's a book called The Millionaire Fastlane by MJ DeMarco. The real OGs who read this book when it was still early know that the original cover actually had a Lamborghini on it. So I think at the time I was in college and this book, the main lesson it taught me was that you need to separate your time from money. If you ever 
want to be truly rich and wealthy. You're not trading your hours for an hourly pay, but you're creating something that can stand independent of you. And his main example was a website. And that drew me to learning how to create websites. But first I want to show you a picture that I photoshopped. And this was literally in 2013. I literally photoshopped a license plate with my name, which today that's the exact opposite of what I would do. But I just basically did this to kind of set a goal for myself. The power in being able to set goals high and to be ambitious and to really be able to visualize and manifest it. Now that's something else. And four years later, there's me with both of my cars that I owned. I just want to show you guys that, you know, when I made this Photoshop, this picture here, you know, I had nothing. I was nowhere even close to, you know, being able to afford a car like this. And then four years later, I mean, I have both of my dream cars. This is my dream garage. So what all started this was affiliate marketing. Now, when you search up affiliate pro Program for basically any company out there, you're gonna find that most companies and big companies have affiliate programs where you can sign up and you can basically be like a brand ambassador or sponsor for a company and you get these links and if you're able to get people to purchase through your links, you receive commission as you can see here on underarmor.com. Now the first affiliate program that I joined and the largest one is Amazon Associates. And you can see that it's free to join. You can advertise millions of products that are on Amazon's marketplace. So here's an example of Amazon Associates inside of the program, searching up Beats headphones. And you can see here 2000 results, but you can literally go through these, find an item and you can just get the link as you can see on that that yellow button on the side and if you take this link put it on your platform whether it's a website whether it's a youtube channel and if people purchase you actually earn a commission off everything now the commission rates are right here and they vary based on what you're selling and you can see it ranges from zero percent all the way up to ten percent now that's ten percent of that product's cost you know i saw the potential that this business model had it's like you get to partner with the largest companies in the world these are products and brands that people already know you don't have to educate people on what nike is or what under armor is so to me i thought it was the coolest thing in the world i still do today now once i got these ideas website combined with affiliate marketing, I went to work. And here's just a snapshot of my daily routine during college. And what I had to do is I had to wake up earlier because staying up late, you know, I have a roommate. I can't just be creating content and, and being loud at 2 a.m. in the morning. So I decided to wake up at 5 a.m. And it was hard back then. And, you know, waking up at 5, the world is a little bit quieter, even in Los Angeles where I was. What I would do is I'd wake up and I'd immediately start learning. So I would read books or I would listen to audiobooks. The next thing I would do immediately was I'd walk to campus, I'd walk to the gym, and I still remember Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'd go to Wooden, which is the on-campus gym, I would lift weights. Tuesday, Thursday, cardio, I'd go to Drake Stadium, where I would run the stairs up and down. This is a general morning routine, because by 8 a.m., I was in class or basically walking to class. After four hours of classes, be tired, eat some food, and then I would just literally nap for a couple hours. Now, once I wake up, usually around 2 p.m., I would work the entire afternoon because this was the only time in the day I had the quiet and the peace and quiet to basically work on my website because no one was home. 7 p.m., I would cook my own dinner. I remember I was trying to save and budget money and I was getting my meals down to like $1.50 a meal. You know, chicken breasts, rice, and broccoli broccoli or sometimes ground beef, rice, broccoli. I mean, it was very, very simple meals, but you know, I made it work. And so after dinner, what I would do is I would actually go back into business mode and just do some reading, do what I can. I would just learn. I'd read business self-improvement books first, and then I would study and do my homework starting around 10, 11 p.m. So hopefully going to bed by 12 a.m., but not gonna lie, there was a lot of all-nighters that I had to pull looking at my priorities. I mean, business came first for me. I just wasn't interested in school. I love college, but I hated being in class. This is my first website, recordingnow.com. You know, this didn't look anything like this when I started. I mean, it still isn't like the prettiest website ever, but I mean, it was still enough to get the job done. So I want to show you guys one of the first videos I ever made. This is a review of three studio microphones. I had this passion, which I still do today, which is music. And some of you have heard some of my productions and my beats. But basically, you know, I made this video and I made it, as you can see here, without even having 
the items in hand. And you can actually see that the beginning of the video, I made this intro and then I put a transition on it to just make it kind of pop out. But that was literally my first intro. I just made everything myself. And I made this PowerPoint myself. I did the voiceover myself. I did the research myself. I already knew about these microphones. So I just gave my opinion on what I think the top three are. What that video led to was my first affiliate sale. And as you can see here, the first thing I sold was a microphone from that video. It showed me this was possible. If I can sell one of these microphones, who knows? Maybe I could sell 10, maybe I could sell 20. And so I took this and I ran with it. So again, that first sale, that video, there's no excuses. You know, I made my own intro, my own logo. I made a PowerPoint, I didn't have the items in hand, but I did the research and I knew what I was talking about. And I was passionate about music, which I still am. And that led to this. Now, as time went on, I started to get better with my content. I actually was able to reinvest and have items in hand. So this is a pair of headphones that I think I got for about 40. And I actually ended up getting a real intro and you'll see I leveled up right here. So I got a real logo, real video intro, real official, and I made it a real brand. And I got that off Fiverr, which there's a link to in the description. And so, you know, when people, they see how the website is today, or they see that, you know, the reviews of the $300, $400 Bluetooth headphones, they think that I just started off like that. You know, I didn't have money to buy all those different pairs of headphones. Eventually I was able to level up my production. I was able to level up the products I was able to review. So we have this $300 Beats Studio Wireless headphones back in the day you know looking at this review hundreds of thousands of views things started to go up here's an actual graph of the earnings and you know you can see right here that it was really low for a while and you can see that november of 2014 you know it was only 32 dollars and it took basically an entire year just to break past that $500 per month mark. What you don't even see before this is before I started earning, because I didn't just start and then all of a sudden $32 just popped up the first month ever. But you're only seeing the six years because that's when I got my first dollar. And so, you know, things started going up. And I mean, you can just see here the exponential growth. I mean, month over month, it stayed at around a thousand and then it started to go 2000, 3000. All right, so fast forward to when I was working a nine to five job. Now, you may be wondering, why did I get a job when my business was doing decently well? I mean, $2,000 a month is still not a full-time income or salary. And so at the time, you know, I was living at my parents' house. I was forced to move back home. They told me if I wanted to, you know, stay under their roof, I had to contribute and I had to get a job. So I said, all right, well, I'm going to go on indeed.com and I'm going to get a job. Miraculously, I actually was able to get a job without a college degree because I dropped out of UCLA once I hit that $700 a month mark. And I was like, you know what? I'm out of here. Basically, I would wake up, I would do my morning routine. You know, I'd go to work basically nine to five. And then after leaving work, I actually went to the gym, come home around 7 p.m., eat dinner. And then I would work from literally eight to midnight and sometimes past that all to wake up at 6 a.m. again the next day. So there's no excuses here. You know, when people say they don't have any time, I mean, you know, I was a full-time student. I worked a full-time nine to five job and I still was able to get it done even when I had my energy was sapped and I was forced to do it because I mean, you know, if I don't do it, no one's gonna do it for me. So thanks to having my business on the side, my website and having a full-time salary, I was actually able to get my first dream car. And a lot of people don't know this, but my first dream car that was realistic was actually a BMW 335i. And I was planning to mod it. But when I got enough money, I actually decided to go for the M3 and you can see me right there. It was a great day. And I still miss that car. Things just went up from there. And as you saw the exponential growth over the years, and that leads us to where we are today. Now, I still do affiliate marketing full time. And in my Facebook group, I show those results over 13,000 in just a couple weeks in that Facebook group. And that's recent, but my students inspire me in a way because because they just remind me of those humble beginnings and they remind me of the journey. And I'm so grateful that I get to work with them. And here's one of my students, Miguel. You know, it was crazy because he joined my program, Passive Income Lifestyle. And I remember working with him, talking to him, but then he kind of disappeared for a little bit. And it turns out he was working. And not only was he working, but he was achieving his goals. And he popped in one day and was just like, hey, sorry, I forgot to update you. I got my dream car. So literally when I was 21, I was nowhere near getting my dream car, but to see 
see my students are able to kind of surpass me in a way and to you know see them live out their dreams you know at a young age too is what really gets me there's a lot of stories and testimonials that we have you know i want to just share some of the words that people have said and these are for my students that i coach and i mentor this is why i do what i do today and even if you've just commented on one of my youtube videos or even just dropped a like on a video you know i want to take this time to thank you and you know i just want to highlight some of these people my students some people that you know i love working with and again even if you're not in my programs or anything and if you've ever left a positive comment on my videos just know you've impacted me in a positive way so i just thank you guys so much for you know watching this video and i just thank you so much for following me along the journey to be honest we're just beginning we are just getting started 2020 there's a lot to gain and i just feel together we can achieve more we can achieve more when we work together. You know, I see the results in my students. And the last thing I wanna show you guys, for those who don't have the funds, I actually made a completely free step-by-step -step affiliate marketing guide. I mean, it's got 10 steps in here to start your affiliate marketing business with less than $100. Just like I started when I was in my apartment, sleeping on the floor, and you know, I was going to school. I did not have the resources. And so I started with less than $100 to build that website. And that website, in turn, the profits that I reinvested and grew and grew and grew, eventually turned into that million dollars you see today. So you can start today. There's no excuses if you're willing to invest in yourself. And it can be as little as less than $100. I just want to share that with you guys. I have a completely free guide. Again, there's no upsell here. There's no paywall. This is actually how I got started. But if you do want to work more one-on-one, -on -one, make sure to check out my mentorship programs on my website. Who knows, maybe you could be one of those next happy five-star reviews and students that I work with. And I look forward to working with you. So, you know, I just want to help and show you guys that there's no such thing as overnight success. And if you want it, there's no excuses. If you're a full-time student, you work a full-time job, there's no excuses here. You need to find the time, make the time and make it happen. But again, life changes fast when you're willing to change fast and a lot can happen in one year. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the love and the support. If you enjoyed this video, I'm hitting the like button, commenting, you know, really means the world to me. It helps me out so much, more than you guys can even know. And if you want more content like this, of course, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a beat. And I look forward to connecting with you guys on the next video.